All right, this is a how-to video on wiring multiple batteries. Um, it's gonna differ a little bit from whatever application you're doing, but this is how I'm doing it in my truck. I'm gonna have six batteries in my truck. I'm gonna have around 23,000 watts max. Um, the RMS is probably only gonna be around 15,000, something like that. But around 23,000 watts max, so I need about six batteries. So the way I did it is I ran, right now I only have two of the six in it. I'll explain, it's going to be a little bit harder to explain the other ones without them in it. But this is how I did the front two batteries. I was lucky enough where my truck came with two battery trays because it was supposed to be a diesel model, but they put the gasoline engine in it. So I lucked out and got a free battery tray. Um, so what I did was I just ran two charge lines off of the back of my alternator. I upgraded my alternator to a 260 amp. Now, this is only temporary. I'm going to have three 300 amp alternators in my truck. One alternator will charge two batteries. That's how it's going to be set up. One, this alternator will be here, and on this side, the other two will be. So this alternator is going to always charge my front two batteries even when I upgrade it to the 300 amp so I ran a line to a fuse just in case it surges it doesn't fuck up my battery and then a line right to the p to positive post that's all you got to do for the charge line so now you just follow this wire to the second battery to a 300 amp fuse both batteries are 300 amp fuses so I can get the most power I can into my battery and then from there into the positive terminal and that's it. Now for grounds, it doesn't matter where you ground it. I grounded it to my radiator support. Because this battery didn't have a ground because it's not supposed to be here. My other battery, I also grounded to the radiator support. I haven't had any problems. And this one just had a little shitty ground that went to that bolt down there. And I could see it sparking because they didn't. There's, it's painted. Now whenever you ground out your batteries, Make sure you scratch it down to bare metal, that way you can get the best connection possible. Alright guys, and then that's that's pretty much it. All you need to do is just make sure you got... I'd always recommend putting a fuse on the charge line and just have a nice clean ground. Now this battery right here, this is the one that runs my truck. This is the wire right here that goes to my computer. And then this wire right here, these are just for my... Um, my power inverter for when I had my PlayStation in my truck, but I took that out and I'm leaving the power inverter in in case I ever need to use my drill or anything when I'm working on my box. Now these wires right here that are ran kind of shitty for now, this is the wire that runs back to my amplifiers. This one runs back to my two amplifiers on the right hand side of my truck, and this one runs back to the left side two amplifiers. So they're going to be pulling off of these two batteries as well as the four batteries that are going to be underneath my back seat. So, close the hood. We'll go back here. Hold the seat. And there's the back too. Alright, all the wires are ran into the box. Now what I did was, I went on Darvex.com. D-A-R-V-E-X dot com and that's where I got most of my wiring, most of my fuses and my splitters. Now I have a T adapter inside of my box so that takes the one wire that runs back to these two amplifiers well this one amplifier right here and the wire that runs down the passenger side runs this amplifier and the one near the door on that side so you take the wire that runs down the driver side you put it into the T and then that splits it into two. So that makes two power wires. It makes a power wire for this amp, and then a power wire for the one over here. So that powers this amp, and the one straight over here. Alright, so then that makes you have two power wires. That's kind of a shitty way to do it, because I kind of started this system build with an okay amount of knowledge. I knew how to wire everything. But I didn't know anything about bus bars. So my new plan is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rerun everything to the inside of the box. And my box is kind of shaped like a T. 
you see how you can see it right there so what I'm gonna do is on that flat spot right there I'm gonna make a, a bus bar I'm gonna bolt it down to the box right there and all of my battery positives are gonna go on this side so I'm gonna have three batteries for each two amplifiers that's how it's gonna work out alright so I'll have the two batteries underneath my back seat grounded out right near the bat as close as possible keep your ground short and then I'll run the power wires into the box and onto the bus bar so I'll have the one up front under the hood and the two under the back seat on the right side go to this and then the same thing on this side right here I'll have the battery from the driver side running back to the bus bar and then the two batteries and then I already have um, my amplifiers grounded out what I did was I drilled a hole through my floor and I grounded it right to there that was a a ground for my my fuel line and then I just did the same shit on this side right there bang that one didn't have a hole so I, I grind that down and I fucking put a bolt in it there we go it's kind of rusting a little bit because fucking I live in New England Boston area so it's the winters are tough over here but that's pretty much it and then for charge lines for your batteries all you gotta do is just run uh, if you're only running two batteries for your upgrade, I don't know, different cars come with different amperage alternators. My truck came stock with a one, 140 amp alternator. I, would, I mean, depending on what your amp is and your power needs, you might not need to upgrade your alternator. The only way to find out is I would recommend getting your battery first, throwing in the second battery, run a charge line off of the back of the alternator with a fuse back to your second battery, ground it out nice and then I got my voltage meter uh, I got that right off Davex it was $40 um, just get one of those and see where your voltage is right now my voltage is kinda low because I was driving around listening to the radio and uh, you want your voltage to be around 12.6 when the car is off and 14.5 to 14.6 when it's on um, if you don't you, you need a do something about that you need to upgrade your wiring ch check your alternator it's not charging it right I know that I have alternator problems because my alternator is too small for, my, for what just one 5 BTL 18 so it's just one thing after another I mean you just gotta take it step by step if anybody has any questions on this build or their own um, just let me know and I'll try to explain everything the best I can to help you out Alrighty, I think I'm running out of time on this video, kinda. So, that's it. I'm just gonna end it here.